Hey guys, David Anson here, back with another tips and tricks video for Adobe Premiere CC. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to work with a dual timeline setup, also known as pancake editing. Basically what it is, you will have two timelines on top of each other, and one timeline you're using for selects, the, your best shots, your best takes, and one timeline for your final edit. If you're gonna do everything on the main timeline, it's very easy to make it all chaotic. So let me show you how it works. First, you'll open your select timeline. So on this timeline, I'm choosing my best shots, my best takes. By the way, this trailer is from Gunnet. That is a Western feature film that I'm currently working on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag your timeline and you're gonna drag it on top of this panel right here. It's the top one. And then you'll have two timelines on top of each other. So let me just give you a quick example of what a pancake edit really is. So basically, if this shot is a shot that you want to use in your edit, it's basically just drag and drop the shot into your edit. It's that easy. So one of the benefits of using this workflow is that your main timeline stays very organized. So your select timeline is basically like a pre-edit. So you can edit your little uh, sequences over here. Let's say this is a whole sequence. You just can drag and drop your sequence and you don't have to do all that work in the main timeline. So this is basically how I work in most edits. And it's especially great when you're working with a lot of footage. So I hope you'll find this useful and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, I just wanna say, if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel.